Hi, welcome to this video, A World of Opportunity. Most of the advice and courses out there that you might find online teach you how to go and find opportunities. I don't really believe in going out and finding opportunities. I believe in going out and creating opportunities. If we just sit around and wait for opportunities to hopefully come to us, we could be waiting for a very long time. For me, this is not something that I can accept. I'm a strong believer in choosing myself rather than waiting for others to choose me. If opportunity is not come, then I build a bridge. And that's what I'm going to teach you how to do as well. This lesson is broken down into three parts. First, I'm going to cover how we can discover where the opportunities exist using the market targeting that we set. Second, I'm going to show you exactly how to approach people and to invite yourself to these opportunities that you create. And lastly, we are going to cover the technical side of how to set everything up uh, in a way that's easy and efficient as possible. I'm going to show you how to follow up and to make these opportunities manifest and make them happen. All right, so let's start talking about the how and how we can begin securing gigs. The first time that I tried to pitch myself as a speaker, I failed. I followed a guru's advice to the letter and um, you know, I visited meetup.com. I tried to pitch the moderators of a lot of these different groups um, on the website and very few people actually returned my messages and I was able to schedule zero talks, zero workshops. And there's an important lesson here because oftentimes in marketing, we will fail on the first attempt. You know, we try something new and we just think that the strategy doesn't work. <laughs> and, um, you know, we, we think that nothing's going to work because we, we followed some experts' opinion, some, some experts' advice, and maybe it worked for them, but it, didn't, it won't work for us. And, and we get caught up in this trap. A lot of times the strategy is sound, but... Um, you know, we just needed to fix one thing. There was this one thing that was off. Um, perhaps we just need to change who we're targeting. Perhaps the, we need to change the message or, you know, change the message to one that people actually care about. You know, maybe the way that we're pitching ourselves is not really interesting to people. Um, so in my specific case, I decided to focus on a different target. Meetup groups are basically just a hobby and interest groups and have virtually no incentive to schedule workshops other than just for fun. So I switched up my targeting and I decided to focus on co-working spaces instead. Co-working spaces always need speakers and events to keep people coming back in through their doors. This video is being shot after the pandemic, so especially more so after the pandemic, they want people to come back. Um, you know, and to, to come to their space in person, right? So they have a direct interest in providing as much value for their members as possible so that their members also feel that they're getting their money's worth. And one of the ways that they do that is by providing uh, events, you know, that people can come and, and, and get the most value out of their membership. So here's how we can make this happen. I mean, you can see um, here I have a big database of co-working spaces. I've also... Uh, you know, collected lists. I've created my own list of co people working at co-working spaces in different countries so that I can go and schedule talks. And I've done uh, talks at co-working spaces in around, you know, 20 different countries. And so you can see here I have this big database of co-working spaces and um, contact addresses in different countries. So I will also share this with you all with the video. Um, if for any reason I forget to attach this, please leave a comment and I will definitely do so. But you don't really need this because I'm going to teach you other ways to find the right places to talk so that you can do all of this yourself. So it's actually very simple. You know, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to, to Google because Google is the ultimate search platform. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, let's say, you know, I want to create a list of co-working people at co-working spaces in turkey like i did here um, what i will do is i will just do a search and show you how i created this and then what i will do with that so these are all people from linkedin and so the connections that i have here in greece right where i am right now this month were because i connected through them uh, through linkedin with this strategy that i'm about to teach you so the first thing you want to notice here is that uh, these are 
you want to put this little domain suffix or domain prefix, I should say, before LinkedIn.com to better filter your results. So if we're you know looking up Greece, we would do gr.linkedin. If we wanted to look up Turkey, we would do tr. Um, you know, if you want to do UK, you would do UK. If you want to do India, you would do IN. If you want to do Philippines, you would do PH. I think you get the idea, right? So it's important, you know, to filter for the location. And if it's a specific country, then then doing this is the best way to do it. You can see that I've also added this IN because I don't want to get articles. I just want to get people's profiles. So I've set my search results to 100 results per page. So you can see on the first page here, I have 100 results. And then I'm going to use this little free extension. It's called Data Miner, and it just compiles and saves all of the information into a spreadsheet so that I can make something like I just showed you. So I just click that button, and then it will save all of the search results. So let me delete this. And I just want to save these users, and then I'm going to import them into my favorite connecting tool. So I will show you how to do that in a second. But we can see here it says scraping results and the where it says new scrape once this is done, it will only scrape the first page. And I'm using this recipe, Google X-Ray LinkedIn. I, I typically always use this one regardless of which platform I'm scraping. And then what I can do is go to next page automation and I there's probably at least a few pages that I want to scrape. Um, I'll never do 10 pages, maybe three pages. They, the results start to get more and more irrelevant the deeper you go. So maybe, you know, just two pages is good for this example. Um, and then just click scrape two pages. And then it will scrape the uh, first 200 results from the Google search results. And then once that's done, we can download that as a CSV. We can see the rows here. I click download. Or I can copy this to my clipboard and then paste it into a Google spreadsheet, which is what I've already done exactly. So I'm just going to close that and um, you know you can just paste this into a spreadsheet like I did here. And I wasn't searching for email addresses. I didn't include that in my search. So I'll just delete that column. And all I really want are these URLs here. And there are other ways to get these URLs. I mean, you can also use this tool. I'll show you guys. Uh, let me go back to the first page. Uh, don't need to worry about that. Just click, I'm not a robot. <laughs> So what we can actually do too is we can use this tool if we want to get the URLs, it's called Link Gopher, and this might be a little bit faster. I will filter for that IN like I showed you. And what this does is this gets me all the links on the page. So you can see I have all of the uh, links of the profiles. So when you know data miner doesn't do the best job, I'll sometimes use or, or any other scraping tool that I'm using, I, I might also use Link Gopher. So for example, like with Instagram, if I wanted to scrape somebody's followers, I might use Link Gopher because it's safer than a lot of the other extracting tools out there. So you can see I have a lot of these um, profiles, but as we can see, there's often a lot of du duplicated links. So you can see that Goulet, Demir, we see that appearing twice. So if I'm using Google, I, I, you know, Data Miner is quite good, so that's quite safe. And um, it also gets me the names and the companies and so forth. So I've got this, and all I'm going to do for the time being is I'm going to hold shift and select all of these profiles. And then what I'll do is I will paste these URLs. Oops, excuse me for that. Um, I'm going to open my connecting tool, and I'm using Mass Planner. They don't publicly sell it, so um, if, you, if you want to get a copy of Mass Planner or Jarvi, uh, I will provide the contact information and you will have to tell them that you were referred by me because they don't publicly sell this software that I'm showing you anymore, but it is still available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under tools and I'm going to open up my LinkedIn profile. And um, okay, well, my account is uh, sleeping at the moment. It's not connected, but that's okay because I just wanted to show you guys the connector tool. And um, once I have those list of links. I can just paste these under sources. So where it says add people from a provided list, I can just paste all of those 200 profiles and then start sending connection requests. So all I have to do is click add to extracted users. And I have already done this. As you can see, I already have these extracted users here. 
I can see the results that it's uh, making for me. So September 29th, and uh, here is the connection request message, and I can tell it how often I want to send the connection request. So um, maybe five to 15 per day, quite conservative, every uh, hour and a half or so. I do it very conservatively just to get all of these channels you know, running simultaneously and slowly and safely. So I might do you know, 20 different things when it comes to marketing, but doing it all at a conservative pace. So you can see here, I have a custom note and it's like um, setting up a spin syntaxes where I say, hey, hi there, how are you? I'm Danny, my name is Danny, blah, 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 so forth. Um, and then let's just do check spin syntax and it has to be within a certain number of character limit. I think it's 300 characters and for the connection request message. So it says, hello, I'm Danny. I'm a growth hacker and author. Do you host events at your co-working space? I'll be traveling to Turkey in October and I'm interested in arranging a workshop on growth hacking. I think we can do a hit event that will be of great value to your members. So, you know, you can pitch whatever you want. You can say, I want to do a talk on body language or, you know, authenticity or, 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 or web design, you know, or user experience design, whatever it is. Um, it's, it's not really, you know, you're not delivering the entire information about your, your workshop in the connection request message. You're just saying, um, I want to do a workshop with you. Can we connect via email? And then um, you follow up with them, which I'm gonna show you how to do. We said, hey, we talked on LinkedIn. I'm really interested in doing a workshop with you. And that's when you get them hooked. So for now, we're just starting the conversation and we're doing it in mass and we're automating it. So once we're ready, we just click on and then uh, the profile will start sending out connection requests to the list of leads that we just collected. And so if I open up this, we can see, okay, these are the positions. And then if I expand this a little bit, we can see um, a lot of these people are, you know, community managers. We can see at Regis, uh, on co-working. So we see that there's a lot of, you know, like people working at duplicated companies and stuff. But what I can also do is I can um, just observe some of these where, where we see the more relevant leads like, um, you know, with co co-working space, Habitat co-working, collective house. And what I can actually do is, you know, let's just save some of those more relevant ones. This one says co-working too, but we don't know. But, but anyway, I want to save some of these names because I've never traveled to Turkey yet. I'm planning to, to travel there soon. And I just want to get an idea of, you know, what the top co-working spaces actually are. So Locassian co-working, NOS co-working, uh, Thera Para co-working. Okay. Any ones that say co-working and, and we can also do a control F to find these as well. Um, and then if I continue going down, yeah. So the founder of Poscope, I, I have no idea what Poscope is. But anytime that they say co-working space, that's obviously great. So I can obviously search a lot of these and find them. So that's just, you know, one quick way that we can start um, doing some prospecting with LinkedIn, but obviously there are other ways. So other ways we can do is, you know, if we wanted to, for example, um, you know, look up Instagram, there's a few different ways we can do it. We can just do a site Instagram search and then do co-working and then maybe Turkey or uh, Istanbul and then I can see some of the co-working spaces are so I can actually just find five of these and just you know send them a similar message to the one that we just uh, used so if I were to go back and just copy this um, message uh, I would just use something similar you know and just just send these out you can copy and paste them and then see who responds so if I just copy this I will obviously uh, get the spin syntax, but I will just save this to some Google document. I save all of the templates that I use to a Google document and then I can just, you know, message these people. So I say, hey, you know, um, I would just send these people a message. So all of these co-working spaces that on Instagram, we can also look uh, on Facebook. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Um, so we can also look on Facebook before I do that, let me open a new document. These are my notes here. And then so what you do is you just save your pitch. And if I want to create a spun result 
from this message, I will just go to spinnertools.com and it will spin this message. So uh, I'm just going to copy that and then go to spinnertools.com and let me delete a few of these tabs that I'm not using. And then you paste in your uh, spin syntax message and then it will give you the result. So basically, you know, we can copy and paste this exact same message to co-working spaces that we find through Facebook, Instagram, Google Maps searches, and just send these simple messages. And that's really all that it takes to do the outreach. Um, you know, you might customize a little bit for the uh, platform or for who you're sending it to. Um, but you can see I just click message and um, then I can paste in that message that I just saved. So, um, and then I can just click uh, send. So I'm not going to do that on this video, but then you know that's something that we can uh, that I can do later. So what I can also do is you know find more this way. But actually, you know the strategy that I prefer rather than you know using Google this way. Um, let's just use Google Maps because Maps is very powerful. So um, let's just look up Instant Bowl co-working spaces and then see what the top five results are. So these tend to be very well-established, authoritative kind of co-working spaces. So I can also see that we have surfoffice.com, um, but then we also have these top results here in Maps. So probably what I would do is I would just go on Facebook and most of these businesses are very responsive. So Impact Hub is all over Europe, for example. So I'm actually scheduled to talk at Impact Hub here in Greece. So that would be you know, a great place for me to talk. And so basically all we would do is we would just go to Facebook and, okay, this is actually a post that we found. So, so no work, here's another one that we could look up. Oh, it's Kamara, okay. Um, and you know, guys, we don't really need like a million we don't really need a million results. I mean, we just need to copy and paste five messages per day or something, and then we'll get some some gigs lined up, you know, after a few attempts. Because these co-working spaces do tend to be very responsive. They have clients, they have revenue, they have employees to respond to people like us. So let me also get out of the mobile view. And um, there we go. So we can just contact this page directly through Facebook. I can just do, uh, send a message right here and just paste in that message. So, you know, I mean, just from, I think this takes maybe 10 minutes of effort, but what we have done is we have sent, um, we've scheduled 200 connection requests to community managers, founders of co-working spaces. We've found small groups of co-working spaces from Facebook. We've also found lists from Instagram uh, and so forth and really just the best way is to uh, contact them through pages using the exact same simple message. We save the message here and I think that with these different techniques that I've showed you, you're going to get your first gigs booked and every time that you go to a new city, you can easily schedule three, four, five, however many you feel comfortable doing uh, gigs everywhere you go. So yeah, I think that's it guys. And um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one.